in this video i'll be discussing about various oral manifestations in pregnant patients so as we all know in pregnancy we have three trimesters the first second and third trimester and the first trimester extends from first week to 12th week and the second trimester extends from 13th to 28th week and the third trimester extends from 29th to 40th week which includes delivery so within this time frame several hormonal changes happen in a pregnant patient and in response to these hormonal changes we can anticipate certain oral changes also so now let's see various oral manifestations or oral adverse effects seen in a pregnant patient first starting with pregnancy induced gingivitis so in pregnancy induced gingivitis there is gingival inflammation which is most commonly seen throughout pregnancy especially this pregnancy induced gingivitis is seen in second month of pregnancy where there is exaggerated response of gingival tissue to increase in levels of certain hormones such as estrogen and progesterone as a result we need to have close periodontal health monitoring in pregnant patients and these changes within periodontium do resolve after pregnancy and several studies have shown that there is increase in levels of certain bacteria such as porphyromonas gingivalis privatella intermedia and bacteroids so there is increase in level of these bacteria in pregnancy induced gingivitis and please remember this pregnancy induced gingivitis is mainly because of plaque and plaque containing organisms such as p gingivalis intermedia and bacteroids however this entire condition is being influenced by changes in hormonal levels such as rise in levels of estrogen or progesterone and now coming on to the second oral manifestation pyogenic granuloma so pregnancy induced pyogenic granuloma is again because of the same reason because of fluctuations in hormonal levels and usually this condition resolves after pregnancy or it can be corrected by surgical excision and clinically we find this pyogenic granuloma pregnancy induced pyogenic granuloma on the labial interdental papillary region and now coming to other condition that is erosion either because of frequent vomiting or gastric reflux in case of pregnant patients we find erosion of lingual surfaces of maxillary anterior teeth and most importantly we should advise our patient a pregnant patient not to either rinse or brush within 15 minutes after an episode of either vomiting or acid reflux and now coming to another condition which is commonly seen in pregnant patient that is xerostomia xerostomia or dry mouth is another common oral manifestation in a pregnant patient so previous research has shown that the relation between poor periodontal health and the delivery of preterm low weight babies however the relation between these two is controversial and recent literature clearly shows that scaling and root planing done in pregnant patients suffering from periodontal disease doesn't improve birth outcomes so this is according to american association of periodontology as well as european federation of periodontology so 
they do not support the relation or link between poor periodontal health and the delivery of preterm low weight babies and in regard to this topic i have come across few multiple choice questions which i'll discuss with you now coming to the first question which i came across recently changes in gingiva during pregnancy are attributed to yeah, option a changes in hormonal level option b altered microbes option c altered immunological response level option d all of the above so the changes in gingiva during pregnancy as i have discussed previously in pregnancy induced gingivitis these changes are mainly attributed to changes in hormonal levels see it's not because of altered immunological response it's not because of certain altered microbes this changes are happening mainly because of changes in hormonal level so option a changes in hormonal level is the right answer for this question and i have come across another question where they have asked the factor responsible for pregnancy gingivitis or pregnancy induced gingivitis is a hormonal imbalance b microorganism associated with plaque c poor oral hygiene and d drugs so in this question try to answer option a that is hormonal imbalance however the question is factor responsible for pregnancy gingivitis so the factor responsible here is microbes plaque but this entire situation is being conditioned or altered by changes in hormonal levels so you need to be specific while understanding the topic so that you will not have any difficulty in answering these kind of questions so this is in brief about various oral adverse effects or oral manifestations which we come across in pregnancy.